White, so the inside is cut for races next to Long Zama Moon. Jail is in three by the Perth Cup winner Fizem. Lovely looking horse, fine looking chestnut. Jail, winner of the Australian Hurdle race last year. India Lampel is standing in well. Magic Lira next to Long and then Worthy Knight. Alongside him is the stable mate Dobroyd. In fact, Eric Musgrave has four in this gentle habits who failed to complete the course here on Friday. It's again engaged. Diamond Dreams, Redditude and Eric's other runner march past. So they'll soon be set. Two laps of the track here. The Carlton Draft, Great Victorian Steeplechase, about to get underway. And the way they go to a good start too. And Cut and Aces, or Cut for Aces, was one of the first to jump out as they go in to jump the first one, which leads them into the open country. And Cut for Aces on the inside is being tackled for the early lead by Worthy Knight, just in behind them, Jarl. And over on the outside, going fast up in search of the lead, their gentle habits now sorting themselves out. And Worthy Knight goes to the lead as they come up to the second jump, but led over that one by a length and a half to Cut for Aces. Settling in behind them, Gentle Habits. Three or four lengths further back is Magic Lira. Jarl is a bit further back as they go with the third tall timber, being followed next by Dobroyd. He's over on the inside of the stable, mate. March past a length into Diamond Dreams. And a two lengths further back, then over on the inside, Zama Moon with Indian Apples well back and last of all, Redditude. Now they swing through the gap here and commence the run up the hill. And the leader here, Worthy Knight, has gone away with a handy break on them. And coming towards the next jump, it's Worthy Knight increasing his break about ten lengths in advance of cut for races. Two lengths further back is Gentle Habits, a length and a half then to march past. Similar gap further back then is Jala, and they're well strung out. Further back in the field, Magic Lira, he's followed by Dobroyd, and then Diamond Dreams as they race up this steep hill towards the first of the treble, where the leader Worthy Knight is well cleared by ten lengths to cut for races, a half length to Gentle Habits. A length and a half then to march past over the first of the treble. Three or four lengths away is Jarl, then there's a gap to Magic Lira being followed by Dobroyd. Diamond Dreams is in behind them, a bit further back, Indianapolis, three or four lengths away, then Zama Moon, and the Redditude is last of all. They're spread out over almost 200 metres as they come down the hill here, and the leader, Worthy Knight, is out in his own and bowling along and doing it easily in front, about eight or ten lengths in advance of cut for races. As they come down the hill, and they're almost back on the course proper, five or six lengths further back, Gentle Habits. A length and a half into March Pass, followed by Jarl, and a good long way back in the field, Diamond Dreams, and further back to Dobroyd. Now over that fence on the course, brother, and the leader here is Worthy Knight. He's given a breather here, so much so that Cut for Races are starting to close the gap at him at this stage of the race. And Worthy Knight slowed down the pace here in front, about four lengths in advance of Cut for Races. There must be 12 lengths to the next one, Gentle Habits being followed by Jarl, moving up on the outside of March Past. A length and a half then Diamond Dreams, followed by Dobroyd. Magic Lira over on the inside, a bit further back in the field, Indianapolis. Then there's a break of about five rings to Zama Moon, and last of all, Redditude. Coming down the straight now, the pace is slowed right down, and Worthy Knight with his head almost on his chest comes down to the judge and goes into the final lap. Four lengths to cut for races, four lengths away then Gentle Habits, a length and a half to Jarl. And they're followed by March Past and Diamond Dreams and further back to Dobroyd, back to where they started. Just under a lap left to travel in the great uh, Victorian. And the leader still Worthy Knight. He's given a bold display so far as he comes to the next jump. And Worthy Knight led over at about four lengths to cut for races. Jarl is running up on the inside to be third. Gentle Habits a bit further back, three or four lengths away. Diamond Dreams followed by March Past. A length and a half then, a March Past has dropped out of it sharply there. He's been passed by Dobroyd. And then there's a break to Indianapolis. Going along the side, just under... 1,600 metres left to travel. Worthy Knight being tackled for the lead by Cut for Aces. Looks to be going well. Jarl! Jarl is down. The favourite's down. Jarl, he fell at that one. Right, a rider and horse, OK. And now the leader is still Worthy Knight. About a half length to Cut for Aces is still being restrained. About four lengths away. Gentle Habits is running a big race so far. And Dobroyd is making up ground. Then there's a break to Indianapolis being followed by March Past. Now racing to the next tall timber. Worthy Knight still the leader by length to Cut for Aces. Four or five lengths away. Gentle Habits, two and a half lengths to Dobroyd. Well back is Indianapolis, a good long gap to March Past, followed well back there by Zama Moon. They're racing up the hill for the last time. Five thirds is left to Jamba, and the leader still Worthy Knight by a length and a half. Cut for races, two lengths to Gentle Habits, who's running on. Three or four lengths to Dobroyd, a good long gap in the field. Indianapolis, followed by Zama Moon as they jump the next one. Worthy Knight, the leader. Over this one he goes, Worthy Knight, about a length in advance of Cut for races. Three fences left to Jamba as they run down the hill. Two and a half lengths away, Gentle Habits, followed by Dobroyd, who dips slightly on land and the others are headed by Indianapolis. Now they've got to two fences left to jump. And the leader, Worthy Knight, with cut for races going up at his inside. He's making a bowl showing. They're out by four or five lengths to Dobroyd. Gentle Habits can't go on at the moment. 600 metres left to go. Two fences left to negotiate. Worthy Knight still the leader. Worthy Knight by a length to cut for races. He makes his move now. Cut for races. And cut for races has hit the front. 
and went for home cut for aces with about 500 to go he's cleared away four lengths to worthy night a long gap to dobroy gentle habits and back behind them indianapolis but cut for aces looks set for brickley providing he jumps this last one safely it's the brick wall on the course proper with about 200 meters left to go cut for aces coming down to it and he's over it safely. Cut for aces as well. Clear of Worthy Knight. A long gap to Dobroyd, Indianapolis. And then Gentle Habits. But it's cut for aces for Craig Durden and Jimmy Houlihan coming away for a big win in the Great Victorian Steeplechase. The Carlton Draft Great Victorian Steeplechase goes to cut for aces. Ten lengths to Worthy Knight. Eight lengths away third Indianapolis followed by Dobroyd and Gentle Habits and a long gap. Magic Lira. Redditude behind them. Zama Moon and the last one to complete the course is March Past. Well, easy win, and uh, he was very well supported cut for aces. There was a few casualties there, but we'll uh, try and get reports on those. Jarl being one in particular came down, but, uh, gee, that was too good cut for aces. That uh, durden Houlihan combination again. Worthy night and uh, Indianapolis after the running of the Great Victorian steeplechase at Yarra Glen today. Two, four and eight. They're moving in well at Canberra. In fact, they're almost set. Once again, here's Tony. Under starters' orders. Thanks, Chris. Les all in, ready to run now. The Coral Sea Cup and away they go. Edamore went back to the tail of the field through Avalanche, ridden hard, the early leader. Taken on by Valley Warrior down on the inside, further back to Medicine. Then Mountain Time helps back along the rails. The further break then, Stanmark, followed by Calamba. A long break behind those, September Mist, followed by Baccarule. And two Edamores last of all on, settling down in the Coral Sea Cup as they race towards that next turn. Valley Warrior well clear. Valley Warrior leads, two in front of Sir Avalanche, followed then by Mountain Time, moving around the outside of Help. A length behind those, Medicine settling down well in about fifth position. A further break to stand, Mark the stable mate, centre field, followed by Calamba. A further break in the field, racing down the side. Back a rule, followed then by Air Damore and September Mist. As they race up towards the home turn, they've got about 5.50 to go. And little change in the order where Valley Warrior, well clear, will lead the field around the turn. Sir Avalanche tries hard, followed by Medicine. And back behind those, Mountain Time, followed then as they swing around the turn. Help, followed by Stan Mark, running wide. Edamore followed then by September Mist and well back back a rule. They're well in the straight with about 300 to go and Valley Warrior leads as a mighty as a trying hard is Mountain Time down the outside now and getting up along the inside running on fairly well next was September Mist but here's a great go it's Sir Avalanche in the centre reaching the lead but now Mountain Time, Mountain Time and Sir Avalanche, Sir Avalanche Mountain Time all oh, close this one Mountain Time or oh, Sir Avalanche very close, close for third Edamore or Medicine followed then by September Mist, back behind those Stan Mark Kalamba, the next one was Valley Warrior followed by Help and the last one across the line, Baccarul well this is close extremely close this one now the time for the race, 1.23.59 1.23.59 number one is the winner Sir Avalanche, number one Sir Avalanche, the winner, fighting back strongly has beaten number five Mountain Time, Adam Waddick and uh, fairly close for third as well. But uh, Sir Avalanche is the winner, written by Peter Malin for Queen Bee and trainer Jack Van Duren. There's a seven-year-old bay gelding by Mighty Avalanche out of Bells are Ringing, raced by J.W. Van Duren, L.C. and C.D. Fredericks, R.G. Todd and P. Voros in partnership. A number five second, Mountain Time by Switch and Time out of Mountains of Morn, Adam Waddick for Gratz Vella. And number six, Air to Moore, a good run, third, Trained by Robert Price at Nowra, ridden by Luke Price, Sandamore. So, one, five, and six in a thriller there in race six, Canberra. Craig Durden back on the winner, Sir Avalanche there at, uh, not Sir Avalanche, the winner there at um, Yarra Glen, which was uh, cut for aces, and his legendary trainer. Firm favourite, she's paying well on the tape on tab limited, $2.80. You're doing well there in comparison. Scottish Pride at 440, better elsewhere. And on the third line of betting, we have. Rasidi at 7.20. Impregnable uh, Big Avis at $15.50. Accused at $15.40. Zodiac Star is in front of that lot at $8.80. He has drifted. Accused has got a very good second up record, having won last start or second up last campaign at Caulfield, defeating French Clock. Seven starts for three wins, second up. But Desert Tricks racing in grand form this mare. She's won her pass two. And everyone seems to concur that she's better when she is up on top of the ground and she's got a good racing surface for this particular race. Spin moving in. Hasn't won a race since, I think it was the Razor Sharp at Randwick back in December of 99. 
The queue's moving forward. So that leaves Newtown pre-nuptial and Scottish Pride to be ridden as he normally would be. After getting back after missing the kick and knocking a couple of teeth out last start. More support on track for Desert Trick. 270 on the tote. As I mentioned, you're doing better on the TAB. Now the last few coming forward. Scottish Pride about to move up. He's only had the one start here at this track for a third. Prenuptial has a good first up strike rate. Four starts, one win, one second, one third. Zodiac Star seems to race particularly well at this track. He's handily drawn in gate number one. There's a trick in the red, blue sleeves, white cap of Nasa Lutar. They could pick up a listed race with her, a bit of black type even. As far as group is concerned as well, certainly increase the value of her as a brood mare. Set to go. Already. Impregnable made a lunge at the gate, spinned a bit fractious. They balance up. Racing, and they broke in a good line. Favourite Desert Trick, centre of the line away. Scottish Pride got the best of the start. Impregnable hustling up on the fence, and Desert Trick going forward out four deep. Taking a sit now on the fence is Zodiac Star with Rossidi outside of it. Two lengths away is accused. Deep around Newtown and deeper out on the track going forward is Briannon. Spend on the fence and last of all prenuptial. In front impregnable and his favoured role comes off the back leading by more than a length on Scottish Pride. Desert tricks out three wide. Zodiac Star on the back of the speed. Then Rossidi. Accused deep out from Briannon. Newtown in trouble. Not as bad as Spend who got a check and drop back being passed by prenuptial. 5.50 to go. Impregnable in front. He's high wheeling by two lengths on Scottish Pride. Desert Trick's done plenty of work, three wide. Zodiac Star's had a cosy run, two lengths away, Rossidi, Briannon accused, Newtown prenuptial, and Spend last as impregnable swings, he's two lengths in front of Scottish Pride. Zodiac Star looking to get out, Desert Trick on the outside from Rossidi, bullocking into the clear, favourites in trouble. 200 metres to go, impregnable in front. Scottish Pride's trying hard from Zodiac Star and Rossidi, but impregnable. 100 metres to go as well, clear from Rossidi. Zodiac Star on the fence, but it's two too late and in front impregnable, too good. A length and a half on the line to Rossidi, Zodiac Star and Scottish Pride from prenuptial late. Newtown made good ground but ran into a dead end. Then spin, Desert Trick was a little disappointing, but she did cover ground, then accuse and last in Briennan. Too good for them. Impregnable, number nine. First run back this prep going straight to the front. Wasn't overly pressured in the lead. And when Pengelly let him go on the bend, the son of Bite the Bullet had plenty to offer and has careered away to win handsomely. Now, second prize in the race will go to Rossidi, finishing it off well, Chris Muntz. And third, Zodiac Star, number four, ridden by Danny Beasley. Pre-nuptial and eye-catching run from the back. Race wasn't really run to suit her, and she's made up good ground to be best behind the place. Get a Scottish pride lasting to run fourth. Nine, six, four, and one. Time, one, thirteen, two, five. Track record to Crete 12272, home 35 and 29. And impregnable proving too good. He's a, a very handy little galloper, particularly when he finds form and he's found it straight away first up this campaign. He's at his best when he's allowed to run in front. And when nothing took him on, his confidence was very high coming to the bend, and he was certainly fought enough to win first up. A four-year-old chestnut gelding by Bite the Bullet. Out of Heaven Blessed is raced by the Camelot Syndicate, managed by Albert O'Cass, trained by Steve Inglebrett and ridden by Brad Pengelly. Brad didn't have the happiest of days on Saturday, but he's redeemed himself with a good ride on Impregnable to win race six at Canterbury. Rossidi finishing second, Chris Munns, Peter Wolseley, and Zodiac Star, another genuine performance from him, Danny Beasley, Guy Walter. Scottish Pride chased the speed. I just wonder whether he's coming to the end of his tether this campaign. Accused was never on the track. Desert Trick was three wide covering ground, worked hard, uh, but she weakened and never really looked a threat coming to the bench. She was always being niggled at, and she's disappointed. TAB information, the winner, impregnable, $13.10 and $3.70. Number six running second, Rossidi at $2.50 and Zodiac Star $2.20. Quinella $59.30, Exacta $93.40, Trifecta $690.80. And the first four with number one, Scottish Pride, filling that position at $2,711.50. That's race number six, by the wayside, Chris. Race number seven, take out Ludlam. Kalos, or Kalos, number seven is Andrew Gibbons. We're back with race number seven at Canterbury Park at five minutes to four. Thank you, Terry. And now Sunshine Coast, only two minutes away. Good betting race this, the Class 4, 18